Hello diecast collectors, welcome back to the channel, my name is Chris from CRA Diecast and my little helper Liz is here and um, just got some good news before I start um, the channel's finally reached 100, 100 subscribers today so I'm really 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 happy about that uh, the channel's only been up and running for about two or just under three months so I appreciate all of your subscriptions and um, dedication to the channel. It's um, really appreciated and makes it all worthwhile. So thank you very much. What I thought I'd do tonight is just show some of my luxury cars that I have in my collection because there's not much available where I am in the dice cast world. It's a little bit um, dry at the minute. Not much is coming in, so I thought I would just uh, here are a few things that I'm really interested in and uh, the first one is from GLM Models, it's a 1956 Continental Mark II and this is only number 29 of 100 produced so I'm really pleased to have that one and it's in sort of like a burgundy colour and it's absolutely fantastic I do love my luxury cars and these old Continentals are just fantastic well built practically handmade and they were about ten thousand dollars when they were new which is quite expensive when a Rolls Royce was probably seven or eight thousand and the Cadillac was about five thousand so these were really expensive cars back in the day And then another 56 Continental Mark II from Brooklands. Not as good a detail, but uh, it's one for the collection. I'll pop that off. That's a nice blue metallic. There's no opening parts on that, which is a bit disappointing, but the next one from Franklin Mint has got um, opening hood and opening doors, so that's always a bonus, so I'll pop that next to the blue one. And then from Western Models, it's a 73 Lincoln Mark IV. I'll get rid of the blue one. That's in black. Again, no opening parts, but it's a beautiful car, big, big casting. It's got a black vinyl look-alike roof on the top. One. Then from Neo, a, a 73 Continental Mark IV as well. Put that on. I love this colour burgundy. These ones are made of resin, but uh, beautiful paint on them, not a blemish. I think it's a factory original colour. You can see the interiors perfectly detailed. And 
and also from Neo a couple of Continental Mark V's. You can see how big this one is, it's huge. Put the other one next to it. And then also from Neo, a Continental Mark VI four-door in a magnificent gold paint scheme. I'll get rid of the mark. And it's beautifully detailed inside. You can see all the interior tufted seats, the big burgundy steering wheel, the instrument cluster and the little um, porthole window in the rear roof pillar. And the um, wire spoke wheels. And then the next year they downsized it into a Continental Mark 7. And this one is in silver metallic. And again, all beautifully detailed inside. couple of those, I've got another one in a charcoal metallic. And then from Brooklyn's, I've got a 1958 Continental Mark III convertible. And this is huge. And then from Franklin Mint, I've got this beautiful mint green 61 four-door convertible. And that has opening doors and an opening hood, but it's a little bit difficult to open. If I get rid of the big one. And then from a company from Belgium called Techno, a 63 Lincoln Continental. And it does have opening hood. 
a little bit of engine detail and I think the boot opens as well. And then we have a 64 Continental four-door convertible from the Goldfinger movie, James Bond. So, get rid of that one. And that's in black. And then from green light, a couple of 65 Continental sedans. I do love that black Lincoln, it's a perfect colour for it. Nothing beats a black Continental. And then from Century Models, a 65 four door convertible. And then from Neo, a 1975 Continental sedan. That's magnificent. And also from Neo, a 78 Continental Sedan. And they're big, huge cars. And then also from Neo, an 85 town car in silver. This is when they were slightly downsized, as you can tell, next to that big one there. And they're fully detailed in, inside and out, they're just magnificent. See the details on the seats, the dash, 
high mounted stop lights, all the badging, the chrome work along the fenders. Get rid of that one. And then we have a 90, 1994 town car in this beautiful blue. I think my favourite is that silver one. And finally, from Neo, a 2011 town car in metallic black. So uh, there we have it and just want to say once again thank you for helping me reach my milestone of um, 100 subscribers it's really appreciated and um, I'll just take these off and I'll just give you a quick overview Down. There we go. A lot of sheet metal down there. So once again, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed that, and um, share and subscribe if you wish, and uh, please also say goodbye, and she's waiting for Enzo's call, hopefully it won't be too soon, and thanks very much for watching, and bye for now.